Hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> hey Jeff, hey Marshall. Welcome. Thanks for claiming first, Jeff. Thanks for telling me to do a posture check before you even saw my posture. I guess you know me all too well, especially with Age of Empires, that uh, you know that I'm going to be slouching pretty soon. Uh, and I'll do a hydrate. What uh, what am I doing besides... Uh, what do you want me to do besides play the game? Or start the stream already. And let's see. Dad jokes, huh? Oops. <laughs> Did you know corduroy pillows are in style? They're making headlines. Mm hmm. All right. So, <laughs> uh, so let me know what you what you're telling me to 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 do there, Marshall. And while you're doing that, I'm going to uh, introduce the game for tonight. So, tonight we are playing Age of Empires IV. It has been a long time since a new Age of Empires game has come out, and I think with all of the um, success of the definitive editions. Uh, over the last three years, um, they've really, really felt like uh, it was time to make a brand new game. Hey, Jake, welcome. So, um, here we are. And we have, um, uh, I have barely opened the game. I did play uh, a couple months ago or something during one of the open weekends or one of the weekends I had available to me. Like a, I think I did like the learning campaign or something like that, which we could potentially take a look at. Um, but we, um, but I haven't played it at all. I opened it today just to make sure that it opened, make sure everything loaded, and that was it. Um, I checked the sound. I think the sound is okay. You guys can hear the music behind uh, behind me. I think right now, and uh, we'll see how that works out. Um, so let's switch into the game and and take a look around. Uh, let me move the chat box over there out of the way a little bit. So, uh, slightly. See, si. si, we can hear the music. Okay. Uh, so slightly different uh, layout or or uh, presentation than the other Age of Empires games. A lot more um, sort of modern web UI kind of looking interface, which is interesting to me. Uh, we have we have tabs across the top here, of course. Play. We can play the single player. Or multiplayer. Single player gives us either the campaign, a skirmish, or art of war. Uh, multiplayer gives us a quick match, um, or ranked game, which is coming soon. They haven't launched the ranked stuff yet. Uh, custom, uh, custom game here, or you can observe uh, a game being played, which is which is kind of neat, kind of nice. Um, here, there's a daily quest. Uh, actually, there's several daily quests that you can choose from here, uh, which is kind of nice. It gives you something to do. It gives you, makes you come into the game more often, I think. But uh, that's kind of fun. And then uh, here's kind of just um, a little bit of recent events. Whatever you've been playing recently, uh, you can you can kind of jump right back in and continue playing it. Of course, there's news over here. The community expands on that and shows you the community panel. And then here in the Learn... There is a, um, uh, you can look at the tech tree for all the civilizations that are available. Uh, as you can see, there are eight, and I think there are four campaigns. Yeah, the, the Normans, the Hundred Years War, the Mongol Empire, and the Rise of Moscow. So kind of some that um, overlap, and if you notice the, uh, the era for these kind of overlaps with uh, Age of Empires 2, which is, um, interesting to me i guess because i would thought they would have continued their their thing and moved into the next era after the uh after age of empires 3 but they've kind of gone back in time again back to the age of empires 2 era which you know to be fair to them it's a um it's a very rich era with empires and uh battles and all that kind of stuff so it's a good it's a good storytelling era um 
so that's that's good at least what's down here oh ping time to uh, the server my level is level one player xp zero so i have not done anything and then uh, you can you can easily create a group of players when you're working on multiplayer here to kind of stick together even outside of the the games itself uh, as you're working on games no friends online i've got no friends masteries what are that oh okay so there's this is like basically quests or achievements and then notifications i don't have any settings of course i did tweak my controls to be um not typical uh age of empires controls i moved all the grid keys over and then moved my movement keys to wasd because uh, that's me um camera controls i left and the default i think uh, game and UI controls. Uh, I did, of course, turn the, the mouse lock off so that I can move my mouse over there to deal with stream-related stuff. Uh, audio, of course, I turned the sound down. Um, online and accessibility, I didn't mess with any of that. So we'll see if we need to change any other settings. Um, so thoughts on doing the intro campaign, which is um, learning how to play the game, or should we just jump in? I think we probably could just jump into the, to the first campaign. Uh, from what I remember, when I played the intro campaign a couple of months ago, the controls really aren't that different than some combination between Age of Empires 2 and 3. So I think we can just jump in. But if, if you guys wanted to see that, those first couple of intro missions, uh, we could do that. Any any strong feelings either way? I'm guessing that's a no. So I think we'll uh, start with the Norman campaign here. Yeah, it's kind of like two or three missions, maybe. I can't remember. It's been a while. Um, but it was it was fairly simple. Um, There's a little bit of story there, but I think it was I think it was Joan of Arc again, which is interesting. So um, yeah, it should be entertaining either way. That's yeah, true. Uh, so I'm not sure if if I want where I want my UI or my stream layout to be. I may have to tweak the uh, overlays here as we're playing, but um, I think, though, we're going to want to do this one uh, once we once we, once we we jump in here, but I wanted to leave it like this so you guys could read the stuff here on the left. So we're going to play as the Normans. Hey, Addicted, welcome. Uh, we'll play as the Normans and see how this goes. Yeah, I do too. I like, I like this. It's got a nice uh, look to it, the game does. It's a really... Um, I think this was I don't think this background was here when I played it last. Like it was it was pretty barren when I last played. Let's get started. Watch the story unfold. Some events leave a deep mark on history, but none on the land. This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. But here, the fate of England turned. It's where a king was killed, and his victor claimed the throne. This is really October cool. October 14th, 1066. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. The Bayer Tapestry. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. It shows the main players. Harold, the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England, and his challenger, William. Duke of Normandy. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So, he assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. But a storm thwarted his plans. Meanwhile, Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north another threat to his crown so he raced to fight them in france william waited for the right conditions to sail across the channel to england the weather cleared
he seized his chance. It's like one of a freaking movie. Like a documentary. 250 miles north, Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, his army sped south. At nine o'clock in the morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo-Saxon men. The stage was set, and up for grabs, England itself. Yeah, that was really, really cool. There was a subtitle option that I picked, I thought. Um, maybe I'll jump into the settings when we get in the game and, and see, because I, I, I don't know how our voice was for you guys, but if it's a little hard to hear, I thought it might be a little hard to hear, uh, I could put in the um, subtitles. If I can turn them on at least. All right, game's loaded. Press any key to continue. Where's the any key? On October 14th, 1066, William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. I think I'm going to flip this over there. Um, well, maybe not. I don't know, I might have to make some make some on-the-fly changes. It might be right there. I'm, I'm worried about stuff that's up here being behind the, um, behind my uh, UI. But I think that uh, that's just, right there, right there it's just a task for me to do. So tell me what to do next. So I think that's fine. Uh, subtitles. I did not turn them on. Uh, let's do the movie only ones, I think. All right. Now we'll have it for next time. But that was literally a movie. I mean, that was a documentary film. Oh, that's all I have control over is, is these? Okay. William's Norman army made the first charge, launching a direct assault on the shield wall. That's sensitive. Though William's army fought fiercely against the shield wall, it would not yield. As one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation made for a near impenetrable barrier. Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. He aimed to lure the Anglo-Saxons into it's a really false sensitive sense on the mouse. Victory. And the edge scrolling. To break formation. I should see if I can turn William's off the edge. feigned retreat was working. The Anglo-Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. Two-man lock. Kingdoms are With fall. Harold's men no longer in shield wall formation. William could pick them off as they charged. Nice. Ooh, there's a guy down here. Need something to do. <laughs> Dave Edinburgh, yes. men-at-arms reinforced William's army. The Anglo-Saxons had deployed rows of spearmen to push back the invaders, but William had an answer. His sharp-eyed archers. 
Yes, he did. Oops, I screwed that up. So apparently I don't know how to clear a group setting in this. There we go. Cue the cue. Yeah, that doesn't work when I change the settings. Thanks, though. Additional Norman archers joined the battle. Anglo-Saxon archers joined the fray, and the Normans' deadly cavalry ready to charge. But first, William's forces had to eliminate the enemy spearmen, whose yes, sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. Right, there we go. I woke him up again. Many more people at a time. He's not going to die because he's uh, supposed to not die. It's a little bit of a controlled environment here, I think. And it's kind of like Age of Empires 3 where he's revivable. With the threat of spearmen cleared from the field, William's cavalry was free to charge at the Anglo-Saxon archers. Here we go. Charge the archers. Nice. Here are these guys. Anglo-Saxon army was in disarray. Their shield wall had been neutralized and their numbers were dwindling. Now the only thing standing between William and victory was King Harold himself. Well, we should all take him out. Yeah, I think it's almost exactly how it was supposed to go. King, prepared to lay down their lives to save his. They kind of, they kind of control it here a little. We do have more. Uh -huh. 
Well, maybe not, actually. Get up here. different on the grouping uh, controls than I was expecting it to be. Keep spawning more. The Anglo Saxon they don't want you to lose this one. Had fallen. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic. Uh. The screams, the torment. Leaderless and defeated, the last of the Anglo-Saxon army fled for their lives. I guess they should the Normans have put celebrated the thing victory on. over the English king. Hey, tall samurai! But Welcome. William's quest to Welcome rule Raiders. England was just beginning. Thanks for the raid. Yeah, that was totally story mode. I guess I should put the captions on everything. Unlocked videos. Interesting. What were you playing tonight, uh, Tall Samurai? Back for Blood. Nice. Celebrating Halloween there. I wonder what these look like. At Guédelon in France, to understand how castles were constructed, they're building one from scratch, using just the tools and materials of the medieval age. It's a 25-year project, the world's biggest archaeological experiment. The most important defensive feature of any castle. Well, I can click and get out of it. Um, I don't know that I want to watch all those on stream. I think we'll just play the game, but that's really impressive uh, that they've gone through that much, you know, movie content, basically. As well as, um, you know, some additional text-based stuff here, too. Yes, it is a clear video for 1066. You make a great point, Jeff. All right, let's uh, continue. Let's see what's, what's going on here. At the Battle of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course of history. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold was killed here, on England's south coast. His army defeated by William of Normandy. Anglo-Saxon rule was hey, over Welcome. forever. Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day 1066, William was crowned the first Norman King of England. Now he had to secure power across the country. He 
began by stamping his mark on the landscape, building cathedrals and castles at strategic locations. Nothing like them had been seen in England before. They reminded the Anglo-Saxon population exactly who was in charge. I am. Oh, I mean, he is. But not all were content with living under Norman rule. Anglo-Saxon revolts broke out across the country. King William acted quickly to crush these rebellions. But there was one region where dissent was spiraling out of control. The north of England. In 1069, a group of lords from Northumbria formed an alliance with Viking invaders. Together they approached Norman-held York. A large city with an important cathedral, still protected nice, by ancient Roman walls. But the walls couldn't save York. The city and the castle fell to the rebels. William's new kingdom was under threat. He had to get the city back under Norman control. Be me Honda alone. William had no choice but to order his men north. Give her them stare, but as the Norman forces set off on their long march towards York, how much resistance from the rebels would they encounter? All right, load up. Oh, well, yeah, but I mean, it fits, I guess, is what I was getting at. Okay. William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. Nice, Jeff. He would take the towns back by force. You guys can go in here. You can go in there. Me auto scout the scouts. No. Sheep. Explorons Cavallo. Parade. Si. There's a road over here. This is the edge of the map. Found us or something. Middlethorpe. Sheep aren't very um, accommodating, are they? Okay. So we need to reclaim York by capturing Middlethorpe. Who would like to stand here? Longbowmen and militia. Okay, well, let's race in with those. Rebels. Rebel scum. Up there. Pikeman, back up, over there. Oh, 
And that's more like what they're gonna get. First middle Thorpe, then on to left Thorpe and right Thorpe. Okay. Oh, there's another one there. There we go. They've captured it. Alright, so this is my village now. The town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, Just William would need more resources to supply them. Thank you, autosave. Seems a little sluggish. Me? Okay, so we have huntable deer over here. We'll take care of those. Farmer would be good. What do we have for buildings? Houses, mills. Oops. Uh, mills are the food buildings. Okay. Farms are the farming buildings. Lumber camps. What do we have built? I guess I should check that first. All these all houses. Just double click. Yes, they are. Okay, how about if I get one of you? Escolto. Over here and build me a uh, lumber camp. Don't see any beavers, no. I'm doing pretty good. How are you, uh, tall samurai? What's that? Crap sitting out there. Brand new today, so I had to I had to try it, check it out. Build some villagers. I mentioned berry bushes. I don't see any of those. We don't need three people on hunting. Put a couple of you on uh, killing sheep. Huntable deer. Huntable deer. That's good. Never know how, uh, how hellish your uh, area is going to be. Okay. So we're in the. Uh, does it tell me what age I'm in someplace? Not really. It tells me what the next age is. Probably gonna need a barracks. Palisade wall, palisade gate, outpost. Uh, delete unit. Advance the feudal age. We need food and uh, so it must be gold to advance the feudal age. We'll put down a barracks somewhere. Maybe over here somewhere. Four additional farms. Five villagers to chop wood. Two additional houses. And I think we need to put down a granary as well. That's interesting. There's only one worker, but you can see all these like shadows of, of workers to kind of simulate the fact that, well, in real life, only one person couldn't have done that. Uh, let's put down a, a mill. Sorry, not a granary, a mill. Uh, in this neighborhood. And then I can have you build some farms. Nope. Mining camp farm. There we are. Escolto. <laughs> Over here. Ooh. Ooh. Finish. Quad. Now still killing deer. Okay. Probably have them build those two additional houses before we fill up our population, which I haven't even found the uh, setting for yet. Oh, nice. Okay. One more wood chopper. Should be good. 
Got that objective done. Working on our two houses over here. Some of those towers as well. Oh, here's the age duh, this big The Norman army was now well Roman supplied by a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Reinforcements have arrived. All right. Come on in. Another rebel town, Fulford. Okay. Stood in defiance to William's rule. Do this yet? No, we need we need coin for that. All right, I guess we need to go find Fulford now. Let me uh, merge these guys in. Archers, spearmen. Do we have swordmen too? Uh, man at arms. Yep. All right. And so we're going up up that way. Excellent. Uh, let's see. 89 out of 110 people. Should probably send our scouts around. Do something. Oh, herd sheep to building. Okay. I didn't realize that. That's nice. Kick his ass. Oh, okay, you guys are hurting. That's why. Uh, herd them back over here. And then can you leave now? Without dragging the sheep with you? Okay. That's how you do the herding of the sheep. T-I-L. Now, let's see. You can go this way. And this way. Come some some bad guys. Charge. Run them over. Alright, so we found a little ford here across the river. Yep, exactly. IT Machinist, welcome. Thanks for the resub. All right, so there's a river I can't cross, presumably. Si. Si. Escolto. Quierte. En sala. Prepara. Right, we're going to go uh, charge them with the horses. Nice, they can kick up dust as they march. Right, then we can bring in the rest. of food and uh, wood by the time we get there. I should just probably charge in and see what's going on. Uh, berries there. Great. Okay. Let's, uh, let's charge in and see what's going on. Why not, right? Uh, I 
actually... You guys go over this way. We'll use them as like a vanguard. Oh, they've got a wall. Ah, oh, there's metal. Boom. One in here. Get those archers. Quick, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Leroy Jenkins, indeed. That's how I play. I don't like it. I don't know. I'm going to play World of Warcraft or something. Over there. Have captured Fulford. With the Fulford rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. Where the scout at? Way the hell down here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Knowing he would face strong resistance in the city, William prepared to bolster his cavalry. Just gather food and gold to construct a landmark. All right. Let's uh, send a few of you over here. What is that? Mining camp. Actually, it's an olive over here. We have plenty of food coming in. You see the gold landmark to advance the feudal age, build a stable to produce horsemen. Let's um, make some villagers here. It's off this way. The gate to somewhere. The Normans discovered an enemy outpost on the water. Ooh. It belonged to an ally of the Northern Rebels, the Danes. The Danish Danes. King Svein II had sent his army to harass William's forces and prevent him from taking back the North. William had a choice. Bypass the encampment or destroy it. We want a council hall which produces archers at plus 100% speed from landmark or an abbey of kings which heals all nearby out of combat units by two every one and a half seconds. Uh, let's go with archers, I think. And maybe here. I like that there is a grid in this game, because I like grids. Should we destroy the Dane camp? I think so. And the two of you can probably go toward helping build. Some enemies over there. More uh, gold there. Your mother was a hamster. I do wish there was an auto scout for the scouts. That would be nice. But oh well. Kind of just want to look around, see if there's anything else to do. Since we found uh, the one by auto auto scouting. The two of you can probably build me a. Having left the Dane threat okay, unchecked. The Normans now faced a savage raid from the rebels' oh. fearsome ally. Well, I didn't realize that we were going to get raided by them. By leaving them alone. This looks like a, a lumber camp they've got out here going on. Why is that got a weird... Ah. Right, we recalled the Danish raid. William's army held back the Danes' attack. But they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. Or we could pay them in death. We advanced. Let's see. Uh, what if I don't want to send them gold? Build me a uh, stable. Vado la 
Why, why, why would I want to send them gold? What did we find over here? Stone? Yes, we found stone. And that's gold. This must be abandoned. Oh, there's stone there too. Okay. Oh, hey, we still had um, we still had sheep we were carrying along here. Sheep were still following me. Uh, William's reinforcements from the south had arrived, nice. adding vital numbers to his Norman army. Shoot over ill-tempered gold with frickin' with frick shoot lasers, laser beams on them. Uh huh. I guess we could look at the tribute. We could at least do it. Two, three, four, five. There we go. William paid off the Danes and was rid of their attacks. Mm -hmm. William's ultimate goal was within his grasp. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. Make a bunch of those. Bunch of those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Destroy the keep in York, huh? So I'll complete this palisade, which is here. There. I'm assuming you can put a gate in the palisade. Market for trading. What's going to make? Blacksmith? That's always good. Well done? I can I put a gate in here? No. Oh, they've got a gate over there. Okay. And one down here. Okay. Do the things. Um, you can go back on iron or uh, iron, yeah. Go back on gold, I guess. I did have some upgrades here. Gathering rate for gold, and we can do the stone one too, that's fine. And down here, we had a gathering rate for wood. Yes, we did. What about here? Gathering rate for food, carrying capacity by plus five. Villagers armor by plus one, hunted meat carry capacity, hunted meat gather rate, and villagers deal damage against wild animals increased. Nice. Scouts are made at the uh, town center. That's a nice improvement. An improvement I didn't know I needed. Have we here? Oh! Oh, another camp. Should we go harry them too? Could be fun. Right, exactly. Come along, my friends. Let's go harry this camp. Looks like it's all people and some 
What? Oh, of course. I don't know what necessarily this little glowy fire thing is for, though. Chased him off. Uh, oh, you're done uh, murdering sheep, yes. Put a couple of you on fields. And then the other two of you go down here and gather some more wood, I think. We'll build a uh, lumber camp. What have we for people here? Now I'm left. Okay. Burn it down. Our scout. Run up here and gather some sheep. That's going to be the edge of the map there and there. I think we're good now. Or I like screaming. Yes. And then my... Scout can herd the sheep there. I don't remember Scout went. I was chilling over here. Come on in. Let's do this. <laughs> Come along, little sheep. That's fun. Herding sheep is fun. Okay, so I think we had archers over here, so we can go poke at them with our horses. Yep. The towers can hit with our uh, man at arms and spearmen, I think. Burn it down. Nice. It's over there. Oh, another city gate. And then there's York. Nope. Get off. Gate down now. There. 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 Burn it down. Get inside. The Norman army poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. Nice. 
in here. We can zoom in. Let's zoom in. All right, we need to knock this gate down. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah, it's they've they've done a great job already. I can tell with the graphics and such. Holy crap! Look at all those archers. Should build some more uh, cavalry. That's all right. This is the keep we need to back down. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Uh oh, injured leader. I might lose. I mean, I don't know if got enough units to get Let's get out of there. That's not good. Anybody free? Yeah, these two villagers are free. Bring them up here. Make me another barracks up here. I could have gone much better, yes. A lot more than I expected. But uh, since when do you guys expect me to be good at this game? Just because I like it doesn't mean I'm good at it. Okay. You all here yet? Not yet. Wait, where'd the other one go? Isn't there two people? And I guess not, but I thought there were. Oh, there are two people there. Okay. Yeah, I'll have them go do some stone mining just for fun, even though we don't need it. When they're done with that. Alright, I rallied you over there. Let's do... Um, a bunch of that. Guess I should build the archery camp too, even though we don't need it because we have that uh, uh, building. We might get some bonuses for them. Might be useful. Down here, I guess. Yep. It's just. Uh, a long wait to build the cavalry unless I build another stable, which I guess I can. Hey, they came to the door. Okay, nothing to research there. Uh, let's look at that other stable. Here, put you over a little bit. You broke my wall. Jerk. Yeah, I took them in too fast. You're right. I'm bad at that. I usually just like to zerg and throw everything at him that I can. And it's not a good, uh, not a good plan to do. 
Go ahead and mine that. I think we're good with you over here otherwise. Must be if you put archers in these towers or something that they get the the uh when enemies are nearby, this building sounds an alarm, causing nearby units to get a 25% increase to attack speed. Well, that's handy. Oh, wait, that's a bunch of... Oh, yeah, you guys are done mining that. Uh, let's have you all come over here, maybe. Work on this one. Logical. These no, are still going. For 30 archers, that's probably enough archers. Wait a minute. What are these two? Interesting. Could you just be made by the units? Wow. That's cool. So the units themselves can build their own siege craft. You can you can you can use the <laughs> I guess no one's coming. The infantry units, the, the archers and the uh, foot soldiers can build these these units. That's really cool. So yeah, we can build battering ramps and siege towers to deal with uh, walls. We can't the siege towers. We can only use on, against stone walls. We can't use them against palisades, apparently. But the battering rams would help you get through those gates a little bit faster. That would have been nice. So, do, do, do. Okay. Build those. Just about done with our prescribed uh, forces here. Get more horses and build a stable economy. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Indeed. And then, and then they can build, uh, they can build these and eat themselves over the wall, right? So we are up to be 30 horses. I feel like I need more than that. Maybe like 50 horses. I'm working on these now. Chanting shoot, huh? How many can you garrison? Five? I think eight more. And garrison them just for fun. This is kinda new. Kinda new to all of us. Oh, 
Arquière. Sagitaina, moment de essai, Arquière. Oh, there's the gates. Derp. Uh, should we borrow one of these gold miners because they're kind of, uh, yeah. Build a gate right there. Just for fun. And profit. Yeah, we're gonna definitely uh, do a little more damage this time. Archery contest. Building another palisade gate right there. And you guys have a few more to build. Likewise and likewise. Crazy shaped wall here. That could be. I assumed it was um, telling me that they're able to be. Uh... Actually, wait a minute. I see arrows. Ah, okay. It appeared when the shoot to me shoot were near. Mm-hmm. Nice. Good job, Buckspot. Alright, we're just gonna start working now. Yep, for sure. Whichever we can figure out, uh, that would be a good thing to figure out. Alright, you're done now. I can work on stone, I guess. And then once these guys are all done, they can go and join them later. Okay, we have 50, uh, 50 horses now. Oh yeah, get out of the way. Move, 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 move. Well, yeah, the gates are, in a way, because they have little doors on them. I wonder if that means you can... Like, if you can garrison units in them, then? No, I guess you can't. I don't know if it's actually... It's definitely a model thing, but I don't know if there's a functional difference or not. One more of you guys. And then we'll storm the, storm the city again. Never did uh, harvest those berries right there. Oh, and there's some down here, too, I never noticed. Derp. All done? Okay, good. Let's see, uh... Come on down the hill here. That's a lot of horses.
Charge. Nope, push through. Oh, damn, there's a uh, friggin'. Keep going. Decimate them. Let's have you all start building some of these. I don't want you. To, I want you to use the pattern right now. Do take visual damage. Yes, they're they're uh, the compound fell structures. To the Norman army, and York was secured. Let's change that the subtitle. Northern rebellion was over. Setting. And William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. Alright, so we unlocked some more content here, some more videos and a page from history. And let's just continue. William the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson. Oh, well, there's some modern buildings there in 1069. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the north. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. <laughs> Lentils? It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him. King William II, known as William Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck while out hunting he was killed William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry the first but there was a problem at the time Henry's elder brother Robert Duke of Normandy Oof. had been on crusade when he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother. But he failed. And returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. 
Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. Oh, Jeff. I know there's a reason why I kept you around. I saw a thing about Longbowmen building something to defend against a cavalry charge. So they must be able to do something like that. Uh... In the brotherly feud over Normandy, King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayeux, a town still loyal to his brother Duke Robert. Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city and faced oh, yeah. an immediate attack by Robert's or, uh, cavalry patrol. What it was called? Having deployed their palings, palings, Henry's archers were well protected against the cavalry charge. They defeated the first patrol. Nice. All right. Before we do that, let's go into the settings again and audio. Now, oh, where was it? Accessibility, subtitles, movie, and in-game. That way, when she's chattering, we can see what she's saying too. Nice. Nice palings. Yeah, that's uh, superb. As Henry set his sights on burning Bayer, more reinforcements arrived to join his army. We can't auto scout. It makes the scouts less useful for me, but we'll take him anyway. place to the ground. Why is it every time they make a movie, they come and burn our village to the ground? Back here? Oh, just tense. Okay. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. The English approached Bayer and saw that its towering stone walls would not be breached by manpower alone. Henry would need siege equipment and a defensible location to construct it. Nice. Capture the forest village. Okay. Oh, 
Get the joy from the walls. Warrens. Okay, well, we are on the elevation, so that's good. No, we don't need to attack the tower just now. There we go. Hold the things. Uh, we can't build those yet. Come on down here. There must be another way of doing the credits. Do we need to cross this bridge? I guess we do. Yes, we do. I think I'll raise this whole place though, just for fun. Towers are fun. Get these units over here, out of the way a little. You can see the archers up here shooting at me. And then burn this place to the ground. This way. Keep moving. Keep moving. Services of a blacksmith to bolster the siege effort. Okay. Build a blacksmith. We have an arsenal now. Blacksmith, they move the icon over from the last mission to this one for some inexplicable reason. Uh, let's see, you're doing those things, but we can probably do upgrades for you. Some upgrades for you. Now let's see, four and four. Let's have just, uh, yeah, have some of you come and build some fields. Two of you come over here and hunt. Two more of you on wood murdering, probably. With a blacksmith on hand, Henry's infantry would soon be ready to construct siege equipment. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we have a stable. Not enough resources, we need more coin, more gold. Uh, gold mine. Oh, there it is, down here. Yes, 
Jason? Which your lass? Your yeah, yeah, it's a wheeler. Hey, Insefty Walk. Thanks for the follow. Uh, mining camp. Go down here and help. I probably shouldn't have done all these. That's probably the problem. Yeah, that's what the problem is. Do that. Siege engineering. And then we can do some of these. Uh, one more on coin mining, or gold mining, rather. Yeah, we could definitely use some horsemen. One more farm here. I like that these fit in nicely. We could probably use some more housing over here. About done with that. Great. Henry's infantry could now construct battering rams, siege weapons designed to break open fortress walls. Yep, battering rams and siege towers. Nice. All right, let's do uh, just two. If I need more infantry for that. We do a couple more workers here. Ah, yes, Hellersh, and you have a different name in Discord too, right? The face was not what you were expecting. Oh dear. That's uh, scary. Uh, let's see. Any more wood? Really? Well, then we'll send you on some wood then. Yes, I'm a shoot head. With the power of battering rams, the English army could crack open Bayer's mighty walls. Why are you coming over here to drop off your goods? Yes, sir. Here goes. Uh, nope, not that one. Cancel. Broadaxe. Um, I wanted to build a barracks. And then I think, yeah, uh, Pedro did an awesome job on my uh, on my uh, characters. Uh, this one, and then the, just the little faces too in this in the uh, emoji. I mean, I did give him a picture so that he could... What is that? Oh! Farms within mill influence have a boost to their harvest rate. That's nice. Let's uh, build some... That's a weird box. Build some horses. Some more infantry. I think we'll do uh, some... Wait, we have 25 spearmen. Let's do some... Man at arms. If we didn't run out of gold. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Two of you can come down here and help with the gold mining. Henry's presence on the doorstep of Bayer would not go unanswered, and now his force is braced for an attack by Robert's army. Okay. Well, I wanted to build up my forces a little bit, but thank you. Women, 
Henry repelled the attack, but he knew that so long as Bayeux still stood, the city would not give up the fight. Oh, yeah, but I want to, uh, I want to have some people to fight with here. I guess I don't have time to do that. Because game? We need here more gold. I'd like to do those too. I guess we should just move out. And uh, what are we supposed to do? Reach the walls and Bayo's over there. Go up on the hill. You can see further when you're up on the hill. The game says so. I do these. For fun. Yeah, Henry barely noticed the attack before they ran away. That's what I like to do. I think it's funny that these are moving even without people in them. It makes me laugh. Or, I guess it makes me smile, not laugh, but you know what I mean. Alright, let's, uh, let's see here. You all can go and uh, breach these walls. Hopefully we can attack that. Calador! Fancy meeting you here. How's the rest of your stream? Welcome everyone, Class Deviant. Dr. Duke. Ooh. They needed somewhere to go and they couldn't stay here, yes. Reach the walls. Charge. Bayer's walls had failed and Henry's men could now storm the city. Robert's garrison made a last stand to defend Bayer, but nice. Henry would show no mercy in cutting them down and burning their city. It's kind of funny. Grab some more of these. Right, we need to destroy this stuff, please. Get up there on the wall. You guys move in here. Alright, you're still working on it. Ugh. Ugh, indeed. Why are we ugging? It's loud? Well, we can fix that. Might just need to tweak uh, one of them, but... No one else seemed to care. Just you, uh... But then again, there's a lot of yelling going on, too. No, I think I'm gonna do, um... I think I'm gonna do... This. Come on. Thank you. 
Because there's a lot of yelling going on with the combat and stuff. yelling so much and you wouldn't have that problem. Shooting over here. Is that the town center shooting? Yeah. Okay, we need to move these guys up here then. Alright, we need more units. See. See. Shooting at the walls. And all the weird, stupid. Come on over here. Uh, French, I think. Well, at least they're uh, Normans, so it could be. Oh, Caladorn. So picky about that. Thank you, Jeff. All right. We'll quit being a wuss, Henry. Back over here and destroy some of these buildings or something. All right. We need to build some more siege engine craft things. Could be Middle English, yeah. Damn it, Henry. Alright, let's uh, figure out some more units here. I need a couple of people to build me in. Archery camp here somewhere. That's right, you were building houses. Yeah. Middle name is Lever, I guess. Leroy Jenkins, indeed. Uh, only in the era is it similar to AoE 2. Um, functionally it's not at all. It's kind of a weird comparison to make, honestly. Because it's, it's a lot different functionally. Okay, well, that was the end of the gold. So now I need to find something else for these guys to do. 
Guess they can all come over here and kill some animals. But it is sixty dollars too, so yeah. All right, Henry. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's got some really awesome cinematic move, basically movies that you can uh, that play in between the the um, scenarios, and then there's even more. It's almost uh, documentary esque, I guess. Not really cinematic, but documentary esque. Uh, it's really cool. More food. Well, we're making food. Guess I could put a granite or a mill out there to collect the food with. It's got a lot of um, functional similarities to, um, to AOE three in terms of like the the look and the feel and the controls and the things like that. Well, controls is a bad thing to say, I guess, but, um, yeah, it's functionally more similar to AoE 3 than 2. Right, can we move out with what we've got, or should we wait some more? Over here. Monastery. Should make some of these. Yeah, that's probably Middle English they're saying. Oh, these are shooting at me. Playing, uh, you guys help build? Oh, you can. That's nice. Move back over here now. Grab what we have left for people. Yeah, that was in in AOE too. I just wasn't as strongly encouraged. Then. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, like, the infantry just built these siege craft. Like, they're not made in a dedicated building anymore. There we go. As Bayer burned, and the people fled in terror, King Henry basked in the victory over his brother Duke Robert. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown. As it should be. Oh, wait. You're in the wrong era. I actually talked about that at the beginning. Like they could have, um, they they could have continued with this like timeline with the series, and you know picked up somewhere in the 1900s for Age of Empires. You know, like World War One type of fighting, and I guess they could have done World War Two as well. Uh, but they chose to go back in time, which was kind of an interesting change for me, uh, or to to me, a surprise kind of thing. So. Um, we've been unlocking these these uh, videos and these pages too. Uh, we did watch a small amount of the the building a castle one. Yeah. Um, but you unlock these videos as you progress, and they're really high quality. Um, <laughs> high quality to like documentary style videos. It's it's really impressive, um, and you kind of see them a little bit here in the in the. Uh, in between the uh, campaign, while Bayer scenarios. burned, King Henry pressed his advantage, seizing key fortifications and buying the loyalty of powerful lords. Henry loosened his brother's grip over Normandy. At Tinchebrai in 1106, brother would fight brother for final claim to their father's lands. Yeah, you make a good point there, Jake. That's probably why they avoided the 20th century, because... Yeah, unless they told, like, stories that weren't related to... Major Wars. Um... You know, like some of the newer campaigns in Age of Empires 2. They, um... They added in, where, you know, like the Afghan uh, campaign. Or is that 3? Whichever one it was. When they added all these new stories into the... the uh, they, were, they were all new stories that people probably wouldn't... Determined to claim Normandy and capture his brother, yeah, Duke Robert, point, it's probably not King great Henry for besieged the, the castle same story. At but the direct assault on the formidable stone castle was failing. But what are we going to do then? Unable to breach the towering walls... The king devised a new plan to capture his brother. What is it? Henry would force Robert to defend his lands from attack by raising the villages of Martigny and Fren. Garwigan Assetas. Garwigan. Dismounted knight. Let's do it. To goad Robert out of his stronghold, the Henry's Oracle. men would burn the village to the ground. Gold. Treasure. Oh, 
Huzzah! Oh, we gotta, we gotta burn the villages to the ground. There we go. Let's do it. I guess we should collect this treasure, too. Let me get the treasure. Keep getting treasure. All the treasures. Ah, yes. Thank you, Kaladin. I suppose I should do this, too. You can't shout yourself out. That would be self-congratulatory or something. Alright, that's one down. The Elder village can do that. was destroyed, but still Robert did not emerge to face Henry hmm. outside the castle. Henry would have to raise the stakes. Next, Ooh. he targeted the village of Fren. An enemy relief army has a, has has arrived. Oh boy. Well then, I guess we're going to stand around here. Henry received word that Robert had sent for a fresh army to aid in defending his position at the castle. Henry had to eliminate these new forces before they could combine with the garrison at Tinchebray. Henry could buy reinforcements from nearby allies if he could procure the gold to pay them. Let's see. Uh, we could use some cavalry, I think. Henry paid his ally in Tosni and received a regiment of soldiers. Take the infantry then too, since we got the money. Wait, those are archers. Okay, I'll take them. Vanguard. That's, um, quite the relief army. By eliminating Robert's incoming army, Henry had thwarted his brother's attempt at strengthening the castle's defenses. We did have the gold to get more. Uh, what should I have? 200? I guess I'll take the archers in, too. Henry's ally in Bayer sent reinforcements in exchange for gold. Alright, let's go nuke this other town. Bunch of spearmen, some cavalry. Get those. And you can defend against those. Take him down. Burn it to the ground. Burn an eight. Huskara! 
Burning hated. Just more aid? Yes, we can. At the hands gold. of Henry's army, the village of Fren was in ruins. Robert is on the field. Henry's provocations had nice. paid off. All right, uh, let's take... Robert finally emerged from the castle to face his brother in open battle. Infantry and cavalry. Oops, shoot. I think I screwed up again. Oh, maybe not. Take that, thatched roof cottages, indeed. Alright, there we go, I did screw it up. We did the uh, requisite uh, backup. Backup. Let's do. No, oh, get these guys out of here. Okay, now we can get in there and, and run them down. There he is! There he is! Shaka, when the walls fell. Again. King Henry's tactic of luring Robert into the open had worked. Henry captured his brother, and Normandy was his. Okay. Well, that we have finished. Couple more videos, but I think we're gonna end the uh, end the stream here. It's a good two hours, almost right on the dot. That's pretty good. Let's uh, let's raid Clown Town tonight. I think. Yeah, well, some of it's getting used to the the game balance and uh, the controls a little, and uh, the quirks and whatever's of the game. And since I'm literally playing this blind tonight, uh, yeah, I figured it would be a little bit rough sometimes. But uh, that's all we need to do is just just play and practice a little bit. Um, but like I said, I think I played an hour like two months ago. So, so yeah, it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna raid Clown Town, and uh, he's playing Factorio. Uh, five dims. I think yeah, I think that's the last time he was uh, last time we raided him. That's what he was working on too. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. Thank you guys for coming tonight. Thank you for all the redeems. Thanks for the new follows. Thank you for the raid, Kaladorn and Tall Samurai. And of course, thank everyone for the chatting and the uh, banter and the, you know, the usual. And we'll be back again on Saturday with some more Age of Empires 4. You guys all have a good night, and I'll see you then. Bye for now.